Okay. So for your first video, the class class one, I think what was really well was that you had good procedures laid down and it was very clear that these were done frequently because your students responded really fast and well. Mm -hmm. And then a negative for the class class one was um sorry I'm reading my notes. Um a student starts speaking without raising their hand, so I assume because mm -hmm. it could be anything. And it wasn't a huge deal, but you could have done a nonverbal to mm -hmm. maybe quiet them up a little bit. Yeah. What do you think for that video? Yeah. I said that it was good because they responded right away. And I think that was a good way to get them to be quiet. But um I also said that if I had to improve anything that I could have, I didn't have like something ready to go as soon as I was done saying class, class, yes, yes. I paused for a second. So um, I needed something right away to get them their attention or else they were going to go, woo. That's definitely good noticing. All right. And then for your video where you had them sitting down and get ready for their PowerPoint, um, use the technique of peer reinforcement to prompt the students um, to quiet down and prepare for class. And I thought that went over really well. And it was just like, very clear that students were like, oh shoot, like I really want to be doing well too. And so they shaped up really fast. And mm -hmm. one minor detail that um, I heard was just that you could have, you heard some students talking out in the background and maybe you could have just used humor to say like, oh, I can only hear students raise their hand because one person like talked about going to the bathroom. Yeah. And, or you could have just again, done like a nonverbal and been like, or like one minute type of thing. Mm -hmm. How do you think that one went? I think it was good. I think it worked well and they all um, got ready right away. But I also think that I could have used that strategy at like a different time when they were being like more disruptive than what they were being. I agree, but I think it went really well. And then for your final one, you're having the students line up. And um, again, it was a, just a super good procedure nailed down because um, they seemed like they were all lining up well after they were sitting down and they were aware of how you want them to be because you told them you're looking for someone being patient and quiet and ready and then um you had one student who seemed to be having just like a little bit of a behavioral challenge like they um were like banging their head or just like not sitting up and so you um used direct appeal and you just told them like please stop and then you told them you weren't going to call on them until they're ready to go and then I thought it was really good that you let their peers from their row go and not her because she hadn't corrected her behavior yet. So I thought that went well. Mm -hmm. And the only negative from that would have been like, um, that maybe you could have used like proximity to go close to her and maybe she would have stopped yeah. her like thing. Yeah. Her or like, even, like signaling or- um, Yeah, like some sort of like nonverbal uh, thing yeah. have been done. Maybe uh -huh. or even just like a, like a tap on the shoulder yeah. on her desk. But mm -hmm. other than that, I thought it went really well. And I think you did a good job ignoring it for the most part because it wasn't really interrupting anyone's learning or safety. Mm -hmm. So nice yeah, job. thanks. All right, for your first one, um, doing weather during calendar, I thought it was really good that you encouraged their correct behavior by saying like, oh, make sure you're sitting correctly because I could call on you next. So that made all of them like, really want to sit ready and focus so that they could be caught on next. Um, I said that this was peer reinforcement. And um, if you could have fixed anything, you could have just been like, okay, like, cause some kids like weren't singing the song whenever the you were singing. So I think you could just be like, I love that most of us were singing. Let's make sure all of us are singing next time. So that more of them would be like, oh yeah, I forgot to sing. Like I need to yeah. sing this time. I definitely think some noticing would have went over well with the kids. But yeah. You notice like Santino singing. What about you, Ronald? Because I definitely saw in the video too, like my two students who usually. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of team, so I kind of, but yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Or even signaling and being like, hey. Mm -hmm. come on. Okay. Um, but I thought it was good. And then your second one, um, when you were dismissing them in their two groups, their blue group and their yellow group from uh, where. Ever you were in the, yeah. in the gym. <laughs> um, I thought that that strategy went well because you reminded them to use their walking feet, which was good because it was a verbal intervention and those were supposed to be brief. So it was just real quick, like make sure you're using your walking feet and like anyone who was running, I don't think there was any kids running, but even if they were, then that would correct them right away. So I think that one was good. And if you did have to um, improve that one, I would just say, um, tell them like why you called their group up first like oh the blue group was sitting so nice um 
you can come line up now and then they'll be like okay yeah but, that's what I thought too I thought peer reinforcement would have been a good tactic for that like otherwise like I felt my projection was good and things yeah. like that and I was very specific with my direct instructions but mm-hmm. I do agree I think if I would have like said why I was calling on the groups that I was it would have been uh more efficient yeah mm-hmm. it was good and then your last one um from taking them outside to inside I thought that it was good that you were doing <clears throat> the nonverbal cues of just going like this like and looking at like a specific child to make sure they're being quiet while they're getting in line so that you could give the next directions to read the sight words that were written on the ground and I thought that was really cute that was a good idea and then um so that was really good and I think they all listened to that really well and they seemed excited to read the sight words but um yeah so if I had to improve anything on that one um just um make sure that like instead of uh, actually no I don't want to don't even improve anything on that. I thought that was fine <laughs> but um yeah so that was just good with nonverbal interventions instead of specifically calling out that kid and being like hey like stop talking because then it uh directed the attention not towards him and just kept everyone to yeah. themselves thanks yeah I feel like the only thing I could have possibly been like critiqued on was I did say like walk next to the sight words don't walk on them so I told him like what to do and then I said what not to do too so some might yeah. good because it's like an example and a non-example yeah. but then also but, sometimes that could be where it's like a like a negative phrasing so yeah. kind of depends yeah. but thanks 